Okay. I ha- I had it with that app. It keeps stopping in the middle, so I had to record with uh with the uh, the Spotify uh podcasting app, and I had to do the whole uh I had to do the whole um yeah I had to do the whole wild card playoff thing again. And yes, it's feeling instead of feeling like the Lone Star State of Texas, it's feeling like we're in the Arctic Circle. And ladies and gentlemen, it feels like seven degrees. That was supposed to be twenty-one or twenty, but with the windfield tills, it's making it feel like seven degrees. So, um, with that in mind, now this has been a crazy NFL pickup season, to be say the least, and now, um. And then it all started with the uh, the refs are be- behaving badly. They ought to make a ref, uh, movie about refs behaving badly in the NFL. Then the whole Travis K and Taylor Swift romance that's taken over the NFL. And uh, what else? Crazy games, blowouts. And, and I mean, at the end of this, I might have to wind up doing a Jerry Springer final thoughts on this whole. Uh, whole 2023 season. I mean, this is this is wild. This has been wild, and we're only getting ready to be in the divisional playoffs. But but right now, let's get with the uh, the wild card. Now I might do a double, depend upon if I could do the prediction because the wild card is so short, and I don't know what Roger Goodell thinking. About when some of these games were only on Peacock. I don't know what was he thinking. Then. Some people couldn't even get the game. Now this was the Chiefs Dolphins game. And it was already. The weather was already bad enough. It was so cold. I mean everybody. Everybody. And even uh, Taylor Swift was brave in the cold. Everybody. But. Uh, you know. I. Mean, <laughs> it was just. It, it was just crazy. What was, what was Roger Goodell thinking? Now, he did move one game um, to Monday. And that was the same thing. Where Iowa, even Iowa had the caucus in the cold. Iowa had the caucus in the freezing cold. Alright. Now, I do have good news to report, and I'll report this in later later um, season, but there was a possibility now but my last queen elect did not work and then um thanks for another uh citizen of Big D country who is uh who sent me up with uh with one of one of the newest princess. Um there might be a chance that they have our own uh romance here. But uh more of that will come in the uh in the near future as we are winding down the twenty twenty threes crazy uh into 2024 season <laughs> and it has been crazy it has been crazy to say the least all right let's get down to the action uh so my first game is the brown versus the texan now at least more, uh, at least three of my yeah at least two of my team are further into the playoffs and i'll tell you tell you uh Tell you why the other team is not on it. I had Texan, I had Chiefs, and I had the Cowboys. Okay, so, but let's start with the action. Um, forty-five to fourteen, Houston Texans moving on, and once again the Browns will not see the light of day in the further of the playoffs. All right, now this, this one. I mean, the fans, Taylor Swift, uh, the fans who had to be forced to watch the game on Peacock. I they they, I mean, they had to watch the game, and the Chiefs had to play the game. Chiefs and the Dolphins had to play the game in sub freezing temperatures, just like what happened in Iowa. But nonetheless, Chiefs, Dolphins, and the Dolphins got their kryptonite by the Chiefs and Taylor Swift. 
Uh, 26 to 7. And so that's two wins so far. Um, and even though it was a uh, double down, the Packers were facing my other team, which is the Cowboys. Now, it's still a win for me, but not for one of my team because the Green Bay Packers, uh, well, beat the Cowboys 48-32 to in that one. So, I have three wins. The other one was a draw. I was not going to pick this game, but I'll tell you the score anyway. And as much as I'm not a fan of the Lions, uh, because of uh, Chief Justice Friend and he was trying to ruin it for, for me and others, but um, other, than, other than that, the, other, the only other thing playing devil's advocate, uh, the only other thing is the, the Lions had a really tough game with the Cowboys thanks to the referee. And the referees have been crooked off and on all oh, year. I saw something where uh, the ref been, uh, you know, making bad calls and calling things that wasn't even there and rigging game. And, yeah, I watched it on, I watched it on YouTube. There is a way that I can watch football without well, seeing Taylor Swift. There is a way. There is a way. There is a way. Yes. There is a way. Anyway. But anyway. So, uh, the one game that I did not pick, which is called a draw. So, so far I got three wins on the wild card weekend. But the Lions somehow beat the Traders by the score of 24 to uh, 23 by one point. One measly point in a wild card playoff. Wow. But now, I got to worry. Only because it was the Steelers, it was the Bills. Now, the Bills, mind you, is Chief Justice team. Okay? The Chiefs are my team. Now, I know he said that he likes the Chiefs also. So, he might not care who wins. You know, as long as uh, whoever, whoever wins, it's almost like the Big D Country Invitational. So, it could be good either way. It's going to be a, a Bill C matchup in the divisional round. But I hope it's not will be this cold during the uh, divisional playoffs. Sheesh. Anyway, uh, the final score is uh, 31-17. And the, uh, the Bill move on, but the Steelers going to get bye-bye. Anyway, um, well, one of the brothers will have to watch the Chiefs for the uh, Taylor Swift because the crazy Buccaneers are back further in the playoffs. I'm really scared of this team. I'm really scared of this team. 32 to 9. Was not even able to, to was not even able to show up 32 to 9 in a wild card division. I mean, the wild card round. So, I guess it looks like all the brothers are going to uh, hang around either watching the Chiefs at Arrowhead or watching the Chiefs on TV. Who knows? Who knows? One of the brothers did play Santa Claus in one of the games. Okay, so, let me see how much I am with my recording. And, can I get it? I think I could... <gasps> No, who's calling me now? Uh, I can't. I'm in the middle of a podcast. Okay. So, and why are these schools like to call me early in the morning? So early in the morning. Anyway, I think I can get this because this one, this one is short. So, you know what? I'm going to give you a treat. Not only did I do the, uh, the wild card round prediction, I'm going to go ahead and predict the division round. Uh, for the NFL pickup. How's that? Okay. So, I won the, the wild card round with, um, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. It's uh, one loss, one loss, one, one nine game, one, two, three, four. Yeah, four. So, it's four to one and a draw. On the wild card. So it's still pretty good. Still pretty good. So I'm going to also do the division round too. 
All right. So Sunday's game, can, uh, and, and uh, it's a three fifteen. Oh, straight to well. No morning, no afternoon game. This no twelve o'clock game. Just uh, straight to the afternoon on Saturday. Uh, the Houston Texans will play the Rams. Now this is going to have to be a double down, even though I would like the Texans to win. But I'm going to go Texans to be the head and the Rams to be the tails, and it's a three fifteen game. Oh, okay. So, yeah, that probably was a school. That probably was a school. I can tell. But anyway, yeah, I'm go I'm getting ready to go back to college, y'all. Um, but anyway, uh, Green Bay Packers, 49ers. Hmm. After you know what? After the performance that the Packers did. I'm going to go Packers with the head and 49ers at the tails. And that's the uh, the seven fifteen game on Saturday. Okay, I am not going to pick this one. I refuse to pick the Sunday afternoon matchup at 2 p.m. Why? I'll tell you why. The Buccaneers versus the Lions. I am not picking that game. That that will be a draw. I'm not picking that game. Okay. Now this will be another double down. Uh the uh well that's five thirty is the early to call the prime time. So that was that that would be the only game in the e in that evening. So but nonetheless, uh the Chiefs is going to be uh facing the Bills yet again. Yet again. But anyway. Uh, Chiefs is still. Well. Even though it is a double down. I'm going to say Chiefs is going to be the head. Because it's my home. Uh, one of my home team. And the Bills is going to be the tail. But a, 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 at least it's going to be a double down. And we're all good. So. That is the trees we have. An after, we had an aftermath. Yeah, if we had an aftermath of a uh, of a week, wild card week, and then we have the um, yeah aftermath of a week, and then we have the uh, actual divisional round predictions all in one show. So there you go. Thank God they were both short anyway. <laughs> so. Uh, more information on where college I was going to be going to. The problem is I had to wait for money to send the transcript, and then they're not free, y'all. They're not free. I mean, yeah, there might be 5 to $10 or something like that a piece, depending upon uh, which college. But then there might be sending fees if I'm sending electronically, and I wanted to get them the fastest. But the problem is the credit evaluation could take days before I could find out where my credits are going to go to, where they have a home at the school. I mean, this is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. But I wanted to take an online class where, or online classes where it's self-paced because you know, I'm going to date program and I could be dating my own, uh, I could be dating myself finally uh, with a queen, uh, future, future queen elect. Like I said, more information will be coming that, that part. Oh, thank goodness. I don't have to be jealous when um they finally do get a gate. And what are you waiting on, Travis? What are you waiting on? Y'all got the money and everything like that. You can get, you can get a gate whenever you want. You miss birthday. You miss Christmas. You miss New Year's. Yeah. But anyway. But all in all, hopefully, thankfully, I'll have my own happiness. Thank God. And once again... Thanks to the uh, the other princess of Big D country. Uh, if this works out, she will definitely get a medal of honor in Big D country too if this works out. <laughs> so, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. All right. Well, until we get to the uh, the championship round deciding who will play in the Super Bowl, this is the home of the best fan, uh, best citizen in the net today. Go Knights, go Princesses, let's go. This is the Big D Zone.